Welcome to another exciting edition of The Juice. Our guest today is a lady that you should get used to seeing because she's going to be around for a really, really long time. She's sassy, she's fearless. She is Shay Shay. <laughs> How do you like my washing? Was that good? It was a washing machine, all right. <laughs> First off, well done on an amazing video. You went all Sasha Thank Fierce you. on everyone. You were just going crazy with the dancing and everything. You have to show me a few moves before you leave, though. Okay, no worries, I will. All right, so the video was shot by Clarence Peters. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, the idea, because I was I was watching the video, but I got distracted by your dancing. Is it? So then I know that you were like, you were found on a beach or something. Yes. And then, so what's the story behind the video? The story, um, Actually, it's inspired by Mike O'Cree's Rumba Dance, which okay. is like a 1980s music um, video. But the, the, the actual concept, the story of the video was that I was found on a beach. I was washed up. Were you a mermaid? Ah, <gasps> now that's the question that I guess is left to be answered by the viewers. Because yeah. at the end, you know, like during, I get found and I get by these um, four masculine men who take me to their king and you know as like a present for him i suppose and the king sees me and is like yeah i like you go and freshen her up and then <laughs> i get freshened up and i come back and then I, that's where you see me do the whole and you entertain him yeah okay very very nice all right <laughs> and then then i obviously you don't really see this but i i have to escape because the king finds out that i'm this irawa you know which yeah. is what is explained when star, which, Jesha, means star. which means star yeah. Um, so basically he finds out that I'm like a bit different and the, the, the guy, Lu Jesha, who's featured in the song starts to give me an oriki but he's saying it to the king, he's supposed to be giving the king an oriki but yeah. he's giving me an oriki so the king gets angry and he's like what? You know, and then, who is then this? He's, who yes, is this? Who's this thing? Then he starts chasing me to whence I came. So we've got to talk about the dancing, yeah. it was crazy, it was crazy. So who did the choreography? Kathy okay. and her Imago company. And, and how long did it take you to learn all the dance steps? We spent uh, approximately two weeks, okay. like not every day, but about two weeks. I, I, I spent a lot of time in my living room in front of practicing, the mirror, practicing, 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 practicing like hell. Because I've never seen myself as a dancer, to be honest. But I've seen you on stage, you can dance, you yeah, can dance. But I never, I never, like when I was in my former girl band. Yeah, from we're going to talk about that. Yeah. I was the weakest dancer. Always. Really? Yes, because the girls had a background of dancing. I was the only one that had the singing background. Okay. So I was always um, scrutinized. And maybe that's what made me work harder and decide mm. when I got here that I was going to focus more on being a dance act as well as just a singing. Okay, so let's talk about your former <laughs> group, um, From Above. Yes. So how many of you were in the group? There were five of us. We okay. all were supposed to represent different demographics. There was two white girls, one Asian girl, one half mixed race girl and a black girl. Mm -hmm. So we were like supposed to be a cross between Spice Girls and Destiny's Child in a way. <laughs> <laughs> and when did you when did you become part of the group? Two thousand and eight. Um, we were already a group, then we got picked up by Matthew Knowles who shipped How did that us come to, about? Somebody like in he was looking for a girl band. Somebody informed him that, you know, there was a girl band, you know, hustling, trying to, you know, make headway. Trying and to be Destiny's Child. Trying to be Destiny's Child. And then he came to London with um, Beyonce that year and he branched into the rehearsal studio that we were at. He watched us, he liked us. Then within a week, we had a contract mm. faxed to the UK. Wow. Then the following week, we're in Houston for the rest of the time. In between that, we shot, we filmed a reality show. Yeah called Breaking From Above. And that was a really intense emotional part of my life because my whole, my bad everything habits, is good out habits, there. everything is out there. Bad days, good days was just on this reality show that went all over the world and everybody was seeing that. So mm -hmm. I think at that point I started not to like the group anymore. So I've got to ask this question. Mm -hmm. Did you ever get to meet Beyonce? Yes. And did she glow in person like she does on TV? Is she like this goddess? She's really short. What? <laughs> she's, really, she's really short and, and petite, and, um, but she glows, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. She okay, glows. sorry, that's my, you know, starstruck <laughs> moment over. She glows. One thing I regret, though, is never taking pictures with her, because I think we were all too, we were trying to be too cool yeah. to take pictures with her, and, and realistically, 
we should have, to be yeah. fair, yeah. But um, did she ever give you some tips on yeah. you know, performing and everything? Yes, yes. Actually, if you ever watched the reality show called Breaking from Above, you will see an episode six or seven that she, um, you know, she sends a live video because she couldn't be with us, so she sends a live video. Um, thing yeah. from New York to mm -hmm. Houston and she's just like, hey girls from above, Shay, Daisy, you know, it's like, she said my name, oh my God. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she knows me. What exactly happened? How did you disband? Mm. <laughs> it's okay, it's just me and you, you can tell me anything. Yeah, right. Yeah, you can tell me. Well, actually, there was just a few problems getting the group off the ground. Okay. So, um, I started to feel a bit like, okay, time is wasting and nothing's really happening. Mm. Um, and then obviously one of my mentors, Sound Sultan, who I was in contact with yeah. probably like the last two years of me being in the group, mm -hmm. he was like, oh, well, you know, come <laughs> home to Nigeria, come back to where you belong, right? like fascio, this blah, 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 nothing is happening. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, I came to Nigeria, recorded Love In Your mm. Way, recorded, um, and I went to LA, recorded um, No Lele. Then I was like, these are my songs, just me. Yeah. Sounds I good. Don't have to and I don't have to, any, yeah, any, I don't have to you know, do, I don't have to sing something I don't believe mm. anymore, you know, but just because I have to compensate mm. for uh, four other girls. Like, and then um, uh, Fly Time and <clears throat> Sound Sultan kind of gave me really an offer that I couldn't refuse. So I spoke to Matthew Knowles about it. Yeah. So I spoke to the girls about it. And at, first, at some point, for mm -hmm. a period of time, I was doing both. I was coming here, I did the Peace Square show, I did mm. the WizKid show. I was doing shows out and here. And you were still in the group? But I was still in the group. And in my mind, I was never gonna leave the group anyway. But then things just started kicking off here. And then the group was like, we have to choose. And I was like, really? I choose Nigeria. Yeah, and I was like, choose? choose Africa. Really? Yeah. I said, but yeah. And then, you know, I just, in my heart, um, my mom's voice kept on resounding. Like the day before she, I, the last time I saw her, she said to me, Nigelu, she might end up, see, which means you're still going to end up in Nigeria. Let's talk about now. Let's talk about over the last few months. When you you dropped your first song, when you dropped the first video, um, a lot of comparisons were made between you and Tia Savage. So I think everybody wants to know: Are you guys like enemies? You hate each other, or are you just like? I just I think she's amazing. We hate each other. I think she's just the worst person alive. No. I, yeah, I can't stand her. <laughs> like, she. I thought we got some real juice no. there. <laughs> The juice is that actually we're, we're like, we're sisters. There's no beef. You know, in the beginning it was obviously a bit shaky because like, mm. she was like, oh, what are you doing here? <laughs> kind of, you know? And I was like, this is my this, town. <laughs> I was like, it's not just yours, you know, <laughs> kind of. But no, it's, it's been funny because she's su such a nice, lovely person that um, na now we're like sisters. Like I said, you know when you have a sister, you don't talk every mm, day, mm. you don't even hang out. You have, she's there for you, you have, when you need yes, her. Yes, exactly. But when I need to talk and just say, this is how I feel. She just relates, you know, and she doesn't ever just like see my BBMs and not reply or anything. She, you know, we just we, we have that kind of relationship and it's okay. good. But do you think you guys would actually um, record a song together? I'm hoping you would. I think when I'm more settled, I'll probably think about it. I haven't thought about it yet. Okay. Yeah, it's not crossed my mind. So. All right. Now. So why do you think? Why do you think a lot of people just see both of you and they just think, oh, they must hate I each other? I need to change my hair first of all. <laughs> like I'm so changing my hair. It's so it's so gonna go back to how it was originally when it was much shorter yeah. when I first came out here. Maybe a different color. But mm -hmm. there's actually a lot of things happening right now with my brand and the team and it's a fantastic situation that I'm in right mm. now because people from different parts of the music industry around the world yeah. are looking at my project. Mm. So, and, it's, and I feel very blessed. Oh, so there's gonna be, a, I, I'm sensing that you're, you're about to sign a deal, a big deal. Um, wait, wait, I never that, said my that though. Are telling Look at this girl. Yes. I never said, never said that deal. though, no, so, no. Some, some kind of endorsement. <laughs> Yes, yes. Gang, gang. I'm gang, feeling gang, it. Gang, I'm feeling gang, it. I'm feeling gang, it. Gang, 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 gang. All right. Well, <laughs> you half heard it here first. Shay Shay is about to sign some big, massive endorsement. I never said that. Deal. I never. And don't worry about the details, but you heard it here first on the juice. Okay? I never said that, but but big things are happening, and I just I just leave it in God's hands because 
is God at the end okay. of the day. But no, I, I never said I'm signing a deal or endorsement or anything. But there are things that are happening. That's your prophesying. <laughs> you're prophesying into yes, my yes, life yes. right now. So I'm just I'm actually... Psychic. I'm psychic. Yeah, I'm yeah. just receiving it right now. Receiving. But yes, there's some things happening that... Eh? Hallelujah! <laughs> I'm loving, loving, you're loving, loving, you're loving, loving, you way. I'm loving, loving, you're loving, loving, you're loving, loving, you're Okay, so we've talked about the industry. We've talked about, you know, from above and everything. We've got to talk about the, you know, personal side. Because you're a gorgeous, gorgeous lady. So I imagine the minute you stepped into the industry, the Nigerian music industry, you, you, you had a lot of guys going, I like you. Fresh meat. Yes. I had some people saying, I love you. Like, <laughs> just meeting, oh baby, I love you. I love you. Like, yeah. So yeah, but that's normal. You know, guys will always have that. So, women will always have that yeah. effect on men. So have you been, have you been, have you dated anyone in the industry? Anyone that, ooh, that's it. Um, <laughs> That's a yes, that's a yes. <laughs> I think I'm probably going to end up dating someone in the industry, whether okay. it's an executive or maybe whether it's an artist. An artist, okay. It's going to happen that way. All right, I can just feel so it. from the people that you know so far in the industry, who would you, if you had to date one person, who would you pick and say, I wouldn't mind dating him? You see, every time you say something, if I, if I give you an answer, it might not be that I want to date him, but the people that watch this will say, will now look really closely at this person and me and you know all right so we're just speaking figuratively here shay shay isn't saying that she definitely wants to date this person or these people that she's going to mention but one of the p-square guys yeah they're kind the of single one though there's one that's married and there's one that's not they're kind of taken are they yeah oh, both of them have kids now so oh like, shucks yeah. okay so you see there isn't really who's single because i don't want to step on anyone's toes as well you know um okay timaya because I love his music, though. <laughs> so, <laughs> is he single? I, I, I don't know. I don't know about that. I just, See. you know. Tamaya, are you single? Holler at Shay Shay. <laughs> I don't know. I, I love, I love, so, I love the juice. You're Making so, connections you are and everything. So, okay, I'm going to say, I'm going to say a few, actually. Okay. Yeah? The Peace Square guys are taken. Yes. Tamaya. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're so wicked to me. I'm sorry. Who else is there? Um, Vector. Vector. He has great teeth. I love your teeth, Vector. Hmm. Who else? Give me some names. Give me some names. Lynx. Oh, we've got Lynx. How about um, Ice Prince? Ice. Ice Prince. Okay, forget everybody else, Ice Prince. Right now, like, I watched the video, the first time I saw the video, um, this is the video to Irawa. Yes. I was like, oh my goodness, mad, mad dance steps. So I thought, now that you're here on the juice, why not learn a few dance steps from yeah? you? Yeah? Yes. The, the easy, like the basic, you know, level ones. All right? It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a, triple, a triple or double spin. Let's go for it. Should we try that? Okay. Okay, so this is the Irawa dance. Okay, right, this is okay. the chorus. We're gonna go right arm up, left arm Which one's, up. This is my right. Yeah. Okay. Right arm up, oh. left arm up, and then down like this, like a like a head of a star. Yeah. Okay. So we go. Irawa e together ra wa. Oh, I thought we were gonna go up. No. All right, right, okay. And then you go wine. Okay, I can do that bit. Then I can. It's All right, Egyptian okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So from the top. <laughs> Five, six. Right, left, down, together, out, down, round, round, eh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did it, I did it. I'm the opposite. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so, okay. okay. so all right. Five. One, down. Right, left. right okay. then. Okay, so, right, e, left, wo, down. E, ra. Oh! Okay. So we go one, two, down, together. Out, out, down, down, round, wind it, wind it, flip like this, yes, but the other way. Let me add that bit. Way. Okay, the yeah, leg is good. nice, the leg is nice yeah. actually. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. So we could form a group. We could. We could do, we could form a dance troupe. From below. From below, Omar. Um, uh, there we go. <laughs> now that was Tools doing this. <laughs> Star dance. <laughs> So you said goodbye to from above. Yes. You're now in Nigeria. What's next? Well, next, you, you've heard the three first singles. They were nice, but they weren't entirely all I have to give. I, now I'm working with some super producers for my next 
a couple of singles. Mm -hmm. um, Super producers I, like? Um, I'm working with Starboy, I'm working with Lyric, I'm working with um, Del B um, and Studio Magic. Oh, and super producers. In yes, the yes. And so we've come together to form this super team, and they're gonna, you know, hopefully we're gonna make a great out next few singles and great album. But I have a song with Tamaya. I did it. Oh, I finally did it. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Do you remember we were talking? Yes, yes, we did mention yes, this. Yes, and 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 um, he said that he heard um, one of my interviews, and because I said to him, because I said to the interviewer that you know I really want to work with Tamaya, he reached out to Del B. And Delby was like, yo, I'm working with Tamaya, let's, let's do this. And I was like, yes! So he came to the studio and we just did this amazing song. It's called uh, Killing Me Softly. Killing Me Softly? Yeah, okay. Killing Me Softly. And it's not, I mean, depending on how the public take to it, we might, you might get a video for it. You might okay. get a video for it. But then, but then I have... I think it should be very interesting. Shay, Shay I and think Tamaya. you will love it because you, you, you also love Tamaya. Yes. Our favorite I love, song. Yes, I know that song. Check your bum bum. <laughs> there you go. All right, thank you very much for stopping by The Juice. And thank, thank you, you very much for me. showing me some very funky dance steps. <laughs> Although I don't think I did it as well as you. <laughs> but it's okay. You tried, you tried. And that, well, you, you have thing. been trained by the world famous Matthew Knowles. <laughs> I had no chance. <laughs> thank you very much for stopping by. Best oh, of thank luck. Thank you for having everything. me. Yeah, and and you. You, best of luck with the endorsement deal as well. Oh, amen, <laughs> amen. All right. <laughs>